to a position that I'm happy with it. I just want to make sure that there's no burrs on here. Um, so I'm just going to give that so it sits down there. No burrs. Because that's the contact part. It sits on top of you. And you want nice pressure across that even. Right eh? Now I've got a bath of degreaser here. So I'm just going to take all that oil and crap off. It's just water soluble degreaser I use it in my uh, degreasing bath for bits and pieces. And all this, all these tools that I got from the flea market were pretty, pretty horrible. Uh, covered in crap, covered in grease and oil, and horrible stuff. So I don't want to add to that. Right, oh, so I'm going to set my, set my blades together. I'm not even sure what this is called, but what it does do is it, uh, you set it about a sixteenth of an inch away from the cutting edge. And uh, flip it over, of course. Make sure it's nice and square. I think I told you in a previous episode that I was putting these in backwards at the start. If you can see that, but none of this matches together. So that screw there is only just catching the edge of that iron. So I'm starting to think that these are just bits and pieces from other planes. Now, once again, not three bones of the forehead, you just want it nice and firm, and that's moved on me because of that screw. So I'm going to hammer it. Give that a tap. Right, so you can see that mismatch there. So, what I'm thinking is this is the wrong screw for this iron, or it's an aftermarket iron. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do there, whether I can put a washer on that. I don't think it'll fit back in if I put a washer or not. So I'll just be very careful when I nip it up. That's, there you go. That will do. Just cinch up on it. Make sure it doesn't move. Another cinch. Every time I cinch it up, it moves. Square. Right on. So it now sits back in here. Now, the other reason I think this is a bits and pieces um, unit because this screw doesn't actually fit through that hole. Uh, it's not far away, so I think it's a, a burr on here. So I might just put that in the, in the, I might just file that so I don't have any problems with it. Just take those burrs off. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that burr there? It's like a little raised bit. That's what's stopping it going through. So I'll just wedge it in there. Now that should fit through nicely. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Which I don't know if it's in one spot. So, that's got to go through there like so. There's a bit more fitting to do here, I think. So it only fits through at that top end, right, eh? Let's try it like this. Now, I could have gone out and just bought a brand new plane. But, you know what? 
That's not what it's, what it's about. For me, anyway. See that little thing there? Adjust as the angle, and then you've got your, your dial adjustment, your depth gauge here. So make sure that's seated properly, and it's in. Give that, so what I've found with these things, and I really should go into YouTube and check out how to do this, but I'm trying to fumble through it. So, well, that's, that's not bad pressure there. It's not bad pressure. Now, I haven't, I haven't done the, the sole of this yet. Let's just see how it cuts. So, we've got no blade at all hanging out of there. Looks like the heel of this is, is pretty uh, pretty high. But anyway, let's just see how how it cuts. Thanks for drawing the blade. That's very difficult. So what I'm gonna do is just take that back a bit, maybe an eighth of a turn, and a quarter. Yeah, still a bit stiff. Nice. Now let's see if she uh, moves a bit better. I'm still making friends us these plans and I. Right. Let's have a look now. So I'll get myself a piece of timber. Just a piece of old scrap. And so this is a bit of uh, pine. And I know you're saying, oh, you haven't got any timber in your, in your little vice, but you're right, I haven't. Let's see, here we go. Now, I can see that I'm going against the grain there. Did you hear the, hear the way that that did? That sounded? So it's a good idea to see, to watch how you go with the grain. Yeah, that that's quite a deep cut you see that coming in so I'm just going to back that off a bit Either way, and I suppose because I'm right handed, I'm going to be trying to do it this way, but um, let's see if we can correct it. Okay. We're almost getting full sides, but let's study it now. More, more, more on this side, so I'll grab this and I'll move it across. There you go. Not bad, not bad. I'm pretty happy with that for a novice. Here's the one I prepared last night.
Really happy with them. Nice and smooth. Getting it down. And you know what, it's quite, quite quick. It's quite quick when you get the, when you get nice sharp tools. It's just like, it's like machine work, I guess. Can't cut metal with blunt tools. Can't cut wood with blunt tools. Let's just turn this over, that rough rough edge there. I'm pretty excited, this is really good. Here's one we just, we just did up. Leave the pressure off as you go over the end. Chunking. Just turn that over, turn it around, see if it's better. I'm still, still learning how to read the grain on timber. And you know what? It changes. Always makes it Sounds better. Turn on the boss. Not bad. Let's try this one. So let's see how we went. Not bad. Now because I'm a novice, I'm probably pushing too hard because I'm uh, leaking. That's pretty good. Let's check for square. Oh, not bad for novice. Pretty happy with that. This is a sober machine. Oh yeah. Not bad. Thumbs up. So there you have it, how to get a plane to cut by a machinist who's a novice. That's enough for this episode, you've been on the bench with Max, see you next time.